Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday in FIFA Ultimate Team, and you know what that means. Sundays, upgrade packs. They're one and the same. I think we're getting upgrade packs again today. We had them last Sunday, and today hopefully we get the good upgrade packs because EA Sports, I'm telling you right now, you need to release the good ones because so far Prem Tots has been an L. The players are not upgraded enough, and the content's been very average. So I'm going to... Come out and say it right now, EA Sports, we need the good upgrade packs. I'll talk about those in a second, show you what those are, just to get you ready for those today. Talk about what's happening with these TOTS cards right now as well, because they are dropping. And also, we have guaranteed uh, ourselves the schedule for the next couple of days. Just so you guys are aware, they updated the stuff here inside of the schedule for Weekend League. We are getting La Liga team of the season next week, and we will be getting Bundesliga the week after. Now, of course, the Bundesliga vote ends this week, so I thought it was going to be Bundesliga next week, but in fact, it is the La Liga team of the season coming next. So, Baran, Mendy, uh, get your Madrid links ready for that right there. So, that's going to be coming out. Quick little tidbit right there. I also want to talk about what's going on with the stuff in the store, stadium items in the store, which is an L. I think that's kind of a joke, in my opinion, but we saw it coming because it was happening in Volta already. First things first, let's take a look at these TOTS cards because they're dropping. They're dropping right now, heading into Sunday morning. Kane was just down at 580. I snagged one, played a couple games with him. Luke Shaw was just 300k flat. He's bounced back up to 316. Uh, Salah is still very low. Ruben Diaz has dropped a lot. So has Cancelo, Gundawan, and Mount. A lot of these cards are down. Now, Kane went from 650 to 720 on um, the Friday night into Saturday morning, which I was able to flip myself a Kane, bought at 650, sold him at 710. So a little bit of profit there. I'm kind of watching some of these cards again tonight. Salah is one who is very high rated. He has a weird amount of supply, and I think he just has a weird amount of panic selling too, right? If I take a look at 1.5 mil, Salah has got one, two pages. Two pages with some overnights in the low 1.4s. I really need to see the Salah in the low um, you know, 1.3s if I'm going to get involved for an overnight flip because you know, I think, again, a lot of people are selling these cards right now because they are expecting the upgrade packs today, and that's something that they think could drop these prices because people are going to sell cards if they have the opportunity to go out and pack them. I mean, look at Kane, man. Two pages, uh, 60K up from where he's at. I mean, he was 590, 580 at 650,000 coins. and got two pages, so that card's pretty rare. I'm watching out on Ruben Diaz right now as well because this is a card, brand new team to team this season, first ever TOTS card. And uh, he's looking kind of interesting. I'm trying to maybe snag him right around 400K, which I might have missed the boat there. There's one at 408, and I'm going to have to snag that because he is on the rise because he was just down at 405, and then after this one at 408, the next one is at 413. So I'm really going to watch these Ruben Diaz right now for a potential flip. Now, this is a very risky play. Risky is the name of the game that I'm going with right now. Hoping there's a lot of hype in this Sunday morning as the UK and as the world wakes up today. Uh, they want to go out and try some of these cards. So I'm watching De Bruyne. I'm watching Salah and this Ruben Diaz. I'm probably not going to buy too many of them. But you know what? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, man, because I would still like to make some more coins um, before we head into team of the season. Because again, if the upgrade packs do come out today, that's what everybody is going to be spamming. They're going to be dumping a lot of coins into these packs because that's what people love to do during team of the season is they love to spend coins on these packs. I mean, that's what I've been doing in FIFA for the past month. Really been grinding up my coins, putting a lot of time in, again, taking that RTG mentality to the max, really trading. I had almost 10 million uh, in transfer profit this last month. I went from about 3.5 million coins and we are up over 7.6 million coins right now on my account. So a huge grind on my end, making a lot of coins this last month, just so that I can get myself more coins to open up packs during team of the season. That's my big grind. Last year, it really paid off packing a lot of cool stuff. And people are going to put a lot of coins into these packs just because these are the best cars that we see uh, on a whole with the squad throughout the year. And they're very packable, right? This, these, these pack weight, it's, it's high, right? You can definitely pack a lot of these cards. So you're going to see a lot of that this week. And I think that's why you're seeing the selling right now. Now, what upgrade packs could we see today? This is the one we need to see. Premium Premier League upgrade pack. It's a 20 25k pack with all Premier League players. So 12 Prem players, three of them guaranteed to be rare. Now, last year, we only had this exact type of upgrade pack for 24 hours coming out on Thursday. 
So it was like a 24 hour grind for these packs, which were like quote unquote, the best ones during a promo like this, because if you think about it, you get 12 Premier League players with three rare. I mean, yes, there's still a lot of players that are in the Premier League, but your chances of packing one of these team of the seasons is greatly, greatly increased if that kind of pack does come out. So these are also very, very good for crafting, right? You get a lot of cards. You can put those cards into another SBC. There should be another one that comes out that should be like a... Um, it should require like four rares and then the rest will be non-rares and it's a Premier League upgrade pack. I mean, we had it last year in uh, FIFA 20. If you guys remember those packs, it was it was like a four player pack with one rare, right? And you could rinse almost all your non-rares into there, which was a good one. So hopefully we get some of the league specific upgrade packs today along with the 81 plus picks, right? If we get the picks and the packs, that would be incredible. So hopefully EA delivers today because so far, with the start of Premier League team of the season, in my opinion, it's been kind of an L, right? The players are not juiced as much as we want them to be, and we haven't actually had an, a team of the season player SBC yet. It's only been showdown SBCs, which if you look at it, these cards on Footbin, these cards are disliked so much. It's unbelievable. I think the timing of this content is just very poor, right? 3,000 downvotes for Alonzo and Footbin. And I think Mariano's got the same, almost 3,500. 3,500 downvotes for both of these cards. I just think this is not timely content, right? We we want to be seeing team of the season player SBCs. Now, those cards look cool. Of course, they have the potential plus two upgrade uh, for the game playing later this week. But we haven't had a single TOTS player SBC yet. We've had Bale flashback and then the two uh, headliners, or sorry, not headliners, showdowns. So... Hopefully today we get a player SBC as well, man, because I think a lot of people are wanting that, right? Lingardino, Grealish, Stones. I mean, there's there's a huge list of players that could very easily get uh, a team of the season player SBC. Looks like Stones is rebounding back uh, a little bit right here. So kind of keeping an eye on this card. Same thing with Mason Mount. I know I'm switching topics very quickly there, but just keeping an eye on some of the stuff right now. It looks like Mason Mount is rebounding as well. He was just 345. And now he's up to 350. So I'm going to keep an eye on this Mesa Mount here for the next little bit. Also that uh, DS card, if I can snag one in the uh, ooh, 324, sign me up on a little bit of a bid situation there. 304, because I think these cards could rise up into the morning a little bit. Again, it's risky, right? It's a bit risky to do messing around with these with these cards, flipping them while they're in packs. But again, you're, you're going off of hype and rarity. So that's what we're really looking for today with these two guys to see if we can get ourselves a flip on one of them. But I do think you'll see these cards rise up a little bit this morning, uh, regardless, just because, again, they are hyped up a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep an eye out on that. But of course, with the weekly sell-off happening, I want to take a look at a few prices and just kind of talk about we reached that big-time peak over the weekend um, on these cards. They got really, really high up in price. Adama was like in the high 800s. Awar was almost 700K. Tamori was 500. Luka Modric was 250. A tall was almost 800,000 coins, and you're seeing these cards drop back down now. Um, honestly, because I think people are expecting the upgrade packs today. They're ready to spend their coins on them. And um, yeah, we're just entering into that stage of this promo where you're seeing a lot of that. So that's why I think you're seeing some of the prices go down. They're still going to fluctuate, right? But with the focus having upgrade packs out, you guys know, right? When we have the 81 plus picks that come out, whenever they come out during the year, you know what happens on this market, right? It goes crazy. People stop buying cards or anything. Prices are probably going to slide down into Wednesday if we get 81 plus player picks and good Premier League upgrade packs uh, because everybody's going to be focused on those upgrade packs and that's all that they're going to want to grind. So uh, this mount card, 360 overnight. If I could really snag myself a 345, I would love it, but I might not be able to snag that price anymore. So um, yeah, I think that's why you're seeing some of the sell-off today. If there is good upgrade packs that are released, which I think is possible, I think you will see more of a sell-off. I really think you could see. There's a lot of coins in this market right now, um, but a lot of people also are going to hammer those upgrade packs. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's why you saw prices go super duper high this weekend is because those just the sheer amount of coins that was put on the market this weekend with the lightning rounds and with the saved up packs, people have got the budgets to go out and try out cards and to do SBCs and stuff. Um, now, one thing I will say today too is watch out for fluctuations. Still, on some of your rare, your rare out of packs meta cards, like this Anthony was just 340,000 coins. He's between 340 and 370 most of the day yesterday. Right now, he's 313. I mean, if I can get this back to 340, 
I would love it if I can get a, a couple of buys down here. Like you can still kind of trade with this stuff when the market is dropping a bit. 313, that's not sitting. It's just uh, not there anymore. But I'm going to watch this card, right? Because he still links to popular cards like Tag Lafica, who was out last week um, and stuff like that. So if you're watching the market again today, you're probably going to see prices dropping off a little bit more. Stuff is still pretty rare though, right? Some of your icons are rare. Some of your out-of-pack specials like this Fatih, you know, he's, he's up. He's like 115 right now, but he was 1.2 for most of the day yesterday. So again, I would expect these prices to, to start to fall down a little bit. But also know that those upgrade packs are going to take a lot of coins off the market, and that's going to be where the hype is. You guys know what happens when we have those uh, the player picks coming out. Everybody goes bananas for them. If the packs are good, if they're OP, especially if they release a player pick, the 81+, plus, then people are going to sell stuff even more today on FIFA. Now, what else could be coming out today? We could potentially see a um, another that icon midfielder SBC. Now, the big thing that's going to happen today is that with upgrade packs, people are going to start crafting as well, and there's going to be more of a focus turned on SBCs. SBC fodder is still very, very low. It's actually incredibly low still. I mean, you go across and look at the market. 83s are like 1.2, 1.3K. 84s are 3,000 coins 85s or 7k a piece 86s or 14k crazy low from where they have been uh you know fodder probably rises throughout the week this week if people are doing upgrade packs they're crafting the sbcs that come out um that's going to make people just focus on the whole sbc mentality so i think these cards could do well if you haven't club stocked and if you want to uh that could be something where you spend some coins put some cards in your club and then either do an sbc for cheaper later on in the week or uh, you sell those cards later on the week before Friday for some profit because, again, Friday we're going to have more lightning rounds and more supply and more stuff like that. So that is one thing to kind of keep an eye on. Just watch out for Again, the, the focus during the week is for this week is really just going to turn onto these cards. Now, again, just kind of early on talking about when it's going to be the best buy time for these cards, I really – think it's going to end up being a Wednesday because there were so many people that were looking to buy community tots last week and people saw how those community tots cards absolutely banged out of packs. Wambasaka 750, holy smokes, right? Barnes 712, this guy was 450k. So in my opinion, people are going to be going bananas for these prem tots cards again. And, um, you know, I, I think that Wednesday time frame is going to be probably the time when you buy because Thursday, of course, with rewards, everybody just like last week's going to be all over them. So you kind of have to get in early when you see people selling and not buying. And with upgrade packs coming probably today, you know, Monday, Tuesday, we're really going to be watching that Wednesday time frame with the guaranteed Premier League tots. Hopefully that gets added to the code because right now we do not have that pack in the game that needs to be added to the code EA Sports. Okay, you know, you're releasing that SBC. Put it in the code, all right? Let's go. So um, we need to watch out for that SBC and how it's going to affect the market. If for some reason they were not to do a guaranteed, uh, you know what? I'm going to buy both of these Antonys at 313, and we're going to do a little bit of a flip, right? I'm going to list these both for 340 overnight because I think that is profitable. And that's how you can make coins in this market as well is just with the weekly selling and stuff getting too low. I mean, we have 15K of tax right here taken to like 330 or whatever. Um, but that's that's a nice small little flip that I think is a 100% going to hit overnight tonight. So that's why I bought both of those cards right there. And I'm actually going to, oh, I added that 522 to my watch list. So boom, still watching that. But um, again, with these Premier League Tots cards, you know, you're definitely going to watch their prices drop off like they're dropping off right now. They're always the expensive, most expensive the first weekend. We always know that, right? So really keep an eye on their prices as we're dropping off out of the weekend this weekend um, because people are really going to want to buy these too. And after we have that Prem guaranteed SBC, whenever that comes out, a lot of people just shift gears and saying, hey, I didn't pack who I wanted to get. Now I'm going to buy them. So also, I would watch the weekly sell off. And this is a pro tip. I'm talking about this early. We're going to talk about it throughout the week this week. Watch your Premier League out of pack specials that absolutely went bananas this week. All right. And keep an eye on those because those are going to go high again this next weekend after Tots Rewards. It happens last year. It happened the year before that. It happens every year. Watch your Prem cards, man. This is a high 150. He was 170, right? Uh, so that that's down from where he was, you know, road to the finals, money freeze. How much is this guy right now? 1.02 mil. If you see pretty sizable sell off on, you know, even like an Alan St. Maximin inform or like a Bruno Fernandez, like this type of card or a KDB lower version, 
all of your special cards that are in the Prem that went crazy this week. You're going to want to keep an eye on them. Uh, th this Pogba was like 370 when he was really rare. So keep an eye on those cards this weekend during the sell-off. You know, even your Kent, your Adama, your Tamori with those English links, your Atal even, just the really meta cards as well. Next weekend should see a nice rise after rewards again for stuff on this game in my opinion. So that's a lot of what's going on right now. Of course, we had a huge weekend. And if you guys didn't catch the streams, I made almost, this is about 700K of total after-tax profit. This was 90% of this was on Friday night and Saturday. Um, I flipped a couple cards on Saturday. I bought this at 165 and bought this at 1.42. So not crazy flips there, but again, huge, huge profits overall in the last couple of days. So we're going to try to flip these Antonis, flip this Ruben Diaz, and uh, make some coins overnight tonight. We're going to risk it a little bit. Icons that are still very rare. Some of your babies and mids, they fluctuate a ton, right? This Ronaldo is at 1.8. Again, all it takes is one person on this game to want to go out and buy one of these cards. And these baby icons are so rare. I mean, this Zidane was 1.5 this weekend selling. Um, so you're seeing some of these cards drop off a little bit out of the weekend league, but they're just, they're just mega, mega rare. So I would 100% keep an eye on this stuff and, um, watch out for just big undercuts as people are seeing upgrade packs and stuff released. There's going to be potentials for quick flips. So that's what I would say. Be careful with the really, really high tier, you know, uh, like this Maldini stuff that doesn't sell pretty consistently. You want to try to flip an icon or flip a card that is a special, like that Anthony, right? That's really important links for people that run Nerez and Tagliafico. So that's a really big card for links and stuff. That's why I'm watching him. And uh, yeah, just watch your out-of-pack specials as we fall into the today. A lot of people are going to be focused on the packs. So if you're focused on the market, there's going to be a lot of potential uh, to make coins there as well. So Watching the market today into Saturday, 100% again. Watch the sell-off. Upgrade packs should be coming today. Maybe an icon attack or upgrade could come out as well as people know that, hey, we're going to start grinding, SBC, crafting, and stuff like that. And good freaking luck on your weekend leagues, man, because it is sweaty out there, bro. I was just 4-1. and one, Now I'm 4-3, and three, and I really don't have a lot of time this weekend. So I really don't want to chalk it up for uh, for Prime League Tots, but I really want to get 14 wins, but I got to get 10 wins today on Sunday if I'm going to make that happen. So hopefully we can make it happen. But hopefully this also is the start of the fun that is going to happen throughout the rest of this week. If there are upgrade packs and they are good, we're going to be spamming them 100% because I want to pack Sun. I want to pack Kane, as many Premier League Tots cards as I can. Let me know down below if you're going to be ripping packs or any other questions that you may have about this market right now. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up, of course, get in the comments, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.